Good morning. It is August 19th, 2020. I'm Eric Sapanek. I'm here with Steve Rand. This is the Gold Spot. And we're going to be talking a little bit today about, well, one of our old nemesis is as far as this business is concerned. Uh, out of 15 years, I don't know how many times I've ever had to uh, counter the things that this individual uh, would say about the gold markets and, and everything that was related to the gold markets. But uh, Steve, if you could enlighten us on what I'm talking about and who I'm talking about. Yeah, so it came out uh, on Monday that Warren Buffett of Berkshire Hathaway has decided to enter into the gold realm uh, buying about $500,000 worth of Barrett Gold. And although it's not physical gold, because I don't think his needs are quite the same as necessarily everybody that we tend to talk to, it shows that he's very bullish on gold. And more importantly, he's very concerned about the economy because he also sold off a ton of his bank stocks, which would indicate that he doesn't have a whole lot of confidence in the direction things are going economically right now. And he's certainly looking for some type of a hedge to be able to be able to play against that. And I think everybody has to take a a page out of that book and say, why is he doing it? And should we be doing something in the gold market as well, just to give ourselves a little bit of diversification, if you haven't already? If you look at uh, Warren Buffett, he was never a skeptic of all metals. I mean, we've been in the business long enough to remember right. he took major silver positions, really pushed the market all by him lonesome because he's got the type of fundage to do that with uh, the control of Berkshire Hathaway. Right. Um, so it's definitely somebody that really was more just a skeptic of gold. Um, but now that I believe that you see that the currency concerns are just so robust that even somebody like Mr. Buffett can't ignore that anymore. Yeah, there's no question. I mean, if you look at the amount of money that's being created right now, it's just unprecedented and it's not over. I mean, the next bill is looking at enormous amounts of money and, the, and all that money that gets into circulation. Again, you know, not to beat a dead horse here, but in 2008, that money didn't go into the hands of the people. It went into the banks and now it's getting out there into the economy. You can go to the grocery store, you can see some very visible inflation now, which we haven't really seen a lot in the last 15 or 20 years. And it's starting to, to you know, motivate people to look for diversification elsewhere because they know those dollars are going to buy them a lot less moving forward. Okay, we've also been getting a lot of um, um, requests by some of our clients out there to say, hey, you know, we would like to hear a little bit more about some of the products out there that are just not just your gold and silver uh, bullion products, but what else is there out there that I can invest in? And a couple of the yeah. products that we're excited about right now are? Yeah, well, there's, there's a few things, but I mean, mostly right now we're getting people that are looking for, you know, they want to take advantage of big movement in the price of gold and silver, but they also want that privacy and hedge. And, um, you know, right now there's two things that specifically that a lot of our clients are looking at, one of them being Morgan dollars, which is something that we haven't talked about as much recently, but the ratios on them right now are unbelievably low. It's a really terrific opportunity for people that are looking for that really big bang for their buck over the course of the next you know, 5, 10, 15 years. I think that could be just fantastic. And then also you've got double eagles, which still have really low premiums over the spot price of gold. And we know what those have done historically. They've just been absolutely one of the best investments for our clients. And they're right now a terrific value. And we're certainly recommending people that are looking for that diversification look, you know, look for that market. And also to all of our silver fans, I think there's also some areas in proof right now that you could take huge advantages of that you might spend. I mean, there's areas that are, you know, 10, 20 percent spreads, which used to sound big. But now that you're bullion products, you're spending anywhere from 30, 40 percent premiums to buy the actual metal versus the spot price. So you can get into a more fixed spread as well, because, as you know, bullion doesn't have a fixed spread. So yeah. some of the other products out there will have fixed spreads and you can make sure that you're your movement forward will be mathematical and calculated and not just so variable. So I think that's something that if you talk to your brokers here uh, at SBC, you'll definitely uh, find some areas that you'll find to be great opportunities. Yeah, absolutely. Because, the, you know, not all these things are always great value. When we've looked at it over the past and seen there's good times and there's bad times to enter the market, and they didn't look as attractive, you know, maybe two or three years ago, but right now they're looking extremely profitable. So definitely take a look. Very good. So that's it for us today. We'll see you next week.